what's going on y'all uh to all my dearest friends family uh, acquaintances strangers um whoever's out there watching um sandy here coming to you from a very special place um and i'll tell you about it in a second but first i wanted to say um welcome back to another video hope this video finds you happy healthy and humble and i'm sorry for anybody who was following for a long time on my channel but it took me so long to um to post something again uh, it's great to be back i'm in this incredibly gorgeous beautiful place um that is known as the pantanal pantanal i'm not sure i'm saying it right but um i'm in the south western part of the country of brazil um and i've been here for two and a half weeks now um traveling with my dad I'm super blessed to be here and um super excited to be back to give you a new kind of a video which i'm thinking i'm going to call an unscheduled update because you know i get into alliteration you know i love alliteration um and frankly the thoughtful thursdays were just becoming a little bit repetitive and a lot of weeks i didn't feel like i had much to say or to share so i stopped for a while so i'm not going to do something regimented like that anymore but if i have something to say or something to share i will keep posting videos here uh, because i enjoy doing this and um yeah i feel like i have stuff to say and and things to share so i'm gonna try to be better about it um i'm also not gonna make it a strict schedule I'm just gonna check in with you all occasionally. Um, so again, I hope you're all doing well. I'm gonna keep moving because there's lots of bugs here, as you can probably tell. Um, so yeah, I've been here for three weeks. A, a lot has happened probably since the last time I checked in with you. And I have a beverage here. Um, my dad made it for me because he is a little uh, too, um, well, he likes cocktails. So I figured I would have one too. And I'm also gonna switch hands because my shoulder is getting tired. So hold on a second, excuse me. I'd also like to apologize for my relatively disheveled appearance. Though I am in a button up because it's all I have that's clean. Um, I'm letting the beard grow. So it's getting pretty long. Mustache is almost getting into the mouth, which is a problem, but soon it will not be. Um, so as this, with this as my beautiful background, um, I wanted to say hello again, if you're a follower or a listener, or if you check in occasionally, I love you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're caring for yourself. And, um, I'm sorry if I left you hanging there for a while. Didn't mean to be doing that, but I also think that, you know, if you got nothing to say, why post? Why force yourself to post? So, unscheduled update, the UU, the two U's instead of the two T's like before. And you're never going to know when I put one out. So you got to subscribe and then you'll find out. Um, for this video, I wanted to talk about what I talk about so often. Um, and that is nature. And this is a perfect setting to discuss it. Because this is an incredibly beautiful place. Incredibly lush landscape. Um, it is, uh, I guess, the largest um, alluvial floodplain in the world. Which basically means that it's... Uh, gets like a lot of it goes underwater um, half the year right now we're in the dry season so it hasn't rained much it did rain one time the first night we got here um, but you can see apparently it's one of the most probable places to see jaguar we haven't seen any of those oh my god there's mosquitoes i might actually retreat to the room here to see jaguar to see uh, i think they have anaconda they have a lot of birds, a lot of crazy birds like macaws, um, toucans, which have these huge beaks, and all kinds of other birds. I don't even, I can't even name them. Um, so that's a little bit of background about this place. Basically, my dad has been on this travel bender for the last uh, like six years or something. He's been going to all these amazing places and he's lucky to do so. And I'm lucky to be along for the ride for some of it. Like in 2018, we went to Ecuador. So we're slowly checking off the South American countries. Um, and again, we're blessed to be able to do it in the first place. 
they're howling for soccer. I actually want to go and watch, so I'm going to keep the video relatively short, but I am going to go inside where I can get away from the bugs because you already saw the beautiful landscape. Um, and of course it's locked. Just give me a second on that. Um, but basically, basically my moral of the story today is um, we need to continue to do better to care for our natural world. And the issue, the sad thing is, is that being eco-friendly and be, being an environmentalist has become this um, kind of politicized issue. Uh, but I think that we all agree that nature and the earth is a, a beautiful place, no matter what side of the spectrum you come from. And uh, that we can... We can always do better. Um, and my dad is a huge inspiration for this. So I want to give him a massive shout out. Thank you, dad. Oh, I got some bites out there while I was talking to you. Super humid here. So I'm already like soaking through my shirt, which is not a good thing. Um, but yeah, shouts out to you, dad, because you basically made me who I am. And while this YouTube channel is probably not enough, it's a venue for me to share my share some of the ideas um, that that I have and, and basically some of the ideas that he's instilled in me. I don't need to be too long winded. It feels like it's been forever since I've done this, but um, I just want to get to the point here. Um, so basically my dad has become a vegetarian in the last three years or so, and he's been pretty strict about it. And he used to eat a lot of meat, um, but he went to the doctor and he had like high blood pressure, high, sorry, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. He had all these um, kind of signs of, you know, you need to, either change something or start taking pills. And he, he actually also told me, I think today, that uh, Lipitor is like the most highly prescribed medicine in the world. Lipitor, I think, does something to help your heart keep, keep moving. So it seems like oftentimes what doctors do is they prescribe medicine, they prescribe pills to people. Um, instead of taking a look at the, the root of the cause, they look at the symptom, not the, not the source. So they don't ask the person, you know, what are you eating? Are you exercising? Those important things that we all know are important, but some people still seem to deny. Um, but so he's, he, his doctor told me he had two options, take, start taking pills or change his diet. And he did, and all of his signs are way better. So dad, you rock. You're awesome for doing that. And you're an inspiration um, because that can't be easy. Sorry, somebody may be coming. Um, so I need to wrap this up. That's also... Oh, there's just kids running outside. It's also one of the best things you can do for the environment. Um, because meat production and eating a ton of meat leads to, especially cows, leads to a lot of methane in the air. And I think um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that um, we're burning a lot of fuel and we need clean air to breathe. That's just what we are, right? We're, we're, we have lungs, we um, need to inhale oxygen and exhale carbon, uh, but instead we're producing a lot of carbon. So I feel like it's common sense and I'm not a scientist. And so in a way I'm not qualified to speak on it, but I think my dad's a really smart guy and it's, some of it is just common sense. Um, so we all need to be thinking more about these things. And I'm not trying to preach or be negative because I think that turns a lot of people off when you're negative. I'm trying to promote a hopeful uh, future for us as a species and um, hopefully a planet that's full of life and teeming with beautiful nature and jaguars and plenty of habitat for them to roam. And the more we uh, consume, the more of us there are to consume, um, the less of that I think there is because there's a demand, you know, people need to eat, people need soybeans and they need palm oil or they don't need palm oil, but they need meat, a lot of them, they need dairy. Um, these things all lead to, and then those those feedlots where they have all those, you know, livestock farms. And again, I'm not an expert, but there's a lot of runoff. And I think it, again, doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that probably eating more plants and less meat and less cheese and having less dependence on cows is a better thing for the whole globe. Um, and again, it's a political issue being an environmentalist, but it shouldn't be because I think we're all fascinated by wild nature. We all think it's awesome to be able to go see a jaguar in the jungle. I mean, how how badass is that? Um, 
And my fear is that if we keep on the trajectory that we're on, my dad's fear that things are looking bad. The oceans are not looking good either. Um, and my dad tells me these stories about him diving in the 80s where he saw these amazing coral reefs and giant manta rays and all this beautiful nature. Right.